Right, welcome to another screencast from DIYPCRepairs.net. This time I'm going to take a look at computer security and I'm going to show you a tool that's free that's offered by Kaspersky and they have created a tool that is specifically used for removing root kits, boot kits, all the, the pretty tough, nasty things. The kind of thing that, you know, some antiviruses may miss. I think it's just aiming at root kits and what have you, which I, I, can be an absolute nightmare for people and they, they really do do a good job of hiding themselves on your computer. What we're going to look at is how we download and run this tool from Kaspersky and like I say it's free so a lot of computer repair techs are using it at the moment just as a as a matter of course for cleaning PCs up and what have you. Um, so we'll take a look. So if we open the browser up we want to be heading over to support.kaspersky.com so we head over there Right, once there, we've got the home and small office products. Right, and down this left hand side you'll see fighting malicious programs. We we'll click on that. And this brings up a lot of free tools from Kaspersky. What we're looking at here is their virus fighting utilities. So if we left click on there. Right, what we're going to take a look at is the TDSS killer. And you'll see a bit of a description here of the things that it can fight. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click on the download link. Okay, so once that's downloaded, close out of there, we've got to start and download. Now some of you may not see the download link in this start menu, so what I'm going to show you is if we if we come under help and support, just come out of there so it, it's not highlighted. If you right click your mouse, you'll get properties, left click properties, and this will bring up the taskbar start menu box, and if we've got to customize, this will bring a list up of everything that the start menu is displaying to us so if we come down here you'll see that we've got downloads here now you'll probably find that yours is in that position so what you want to do is put the mark in the top display as a link we'll click OK click apply click OK again so this time when you open up your start menu you'll have downloads so you'll see here now then we've got our Kaspersky tool uh, it's a zip file at the moment, so if we right click and go down to extract all, we extract, yes. Now, you can leave the tick in this box, but for this purpose I'm just going to take it out. So it's going to extract the folder it's already in. Okay. So now we've got the tool extracted. If you left the tick in the box, the folder will self open when it's extracted. I removed it so I'm going to open it myself. That's just to show you how it's extracted. So what you'll see here is we've got the Kaspersky logo and we've got TDSS killer. And then all we do is we simply double left click. User account control is going to come up and ask us if it's okay to run. We'll click yes. And very easy to run. You'll see here that it's going to scan services and drivers and it's also going to scan the boot sectors. So all we do is simply click start scan. Now depending on how big your system is, how big your hard drives are and how much is on them, um, that will determine how quickly it's going to get through this scan. Okay so when the scan's completed you get a rundown of what it's found and you'll see that it hasn't found any infections. If on your system it does discover something you get a list here and options to delete, quarantine. If you see files in there you're not quite sure what they are, whether they're root kits or whether it's anything that your system needs. If you're unsure, if you just take the name of the file or the folder that it's found and just google it, that'll tell you whether it's a nasty or whether it's something that's attached to a file. Most of the time the things that it detects are things that you don't want on your system, but like I say, just check and before you run the tool make sure your data's backed up and everything. We'll close out of there. There we go. Um, how to run the free rootkit removal tool from Kaspersky. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.